you watch the part one and part two of my lip gloss pro and you're wondering why there is pro that's supposed to be con yes by the end of this video you're gonna know the cons of lip gloss the slight mistake we made when formulating lip gloss and it's gonna be an high opener for you to be able to avoid when you are formulating your own lip gloss so stay what's up youtube it's your girl olishola of let's talk fancy a place where beauty is the game and fancy is the road that is it if you're a new subscriber to my channel welcome this is how we do it over here you go down to the comment section below and introduce yourself so you can be officially welcomed by me and all other fancy babes and if you're a returning subscriber to my channel hi welcome as well you know how we do it you go down to the comment section below and type i rep fancy now that that is out of the way let's get on to the video i also have some amazing lip gloss on my website for your own resale and personal use I have some amazing eyelashes just for personal use yet not resell I have unique wig units on my website as well nice bundles for an affordable prices if you're thinking of checking out my website or giving my product a try the link to that website is gonna be in the description down below so we can be all fancy together the con number one I have done here is not cleaning your workspace after formulating yes we can tend to be tired after the whole lot of work but it's indeed a very bad habit not to clean our workspace after formulating so immediately after formulating you want to wipe your wipe down your dishes or the bowls you use of formulating and your workspace really really good my con number two is you assuming or high boring your ingredient <laughs> i'm not a big fan of that you trying to formulate let's say like five tubes of lip glosses and you're thinking okay this much is going to be enough without you having a specific measurement or a specific gram that you're going for so just eyeballing your ingredients or assuming this is going to be enough this oil is going to be enough that um mica is going to be enough the pigment is going to be just fine I, i'm not really a fan of that to me that is a con my next con is you making your lip gloss super thick no we're not gonna be doing thick lip gloss here okay initially when i started making lip gloss that is part of my falls okay that's this this is a very big part of my fall because when i started making lip gloss i made it thick my assumption was if you make it really really thick it's gonna last longer and it's gonna make the the color pop so i give some out to my friends and family for them to test and tell me how the feel <laughs> and three of my girlfriends were so honest with me they were like girl this is super thick it's so sticky and nobody's gonna get this from you so i was so glad i haven't made a lot of batch i made just like 10 i think to give to friends and family to test for me and let me say six out of ten don't like it so you don't want to make your lip gloss super thick my next con now is you don't want to make your lip gloss super thin i'm sure you're confused right now you're gonna be like no you just said we just shouldn't make it thick what do you want from us <laughs> yes i know when i was condemned by my lip gloss being thick i went ahead to make another batch and i made it thin this time and when i gave it out before giving it out like i make it at night then the next morning with the intention of me giving it out to the same people to check and see how it feels this time before giving it out to them when i got to the lip gloss the next morning i discovered that half of my lip gloss is oil and the down part is the base the the vasa gel yes if your lip gloss is so thick it's going to separate easily and it was in the squeeze tube so the moment i pressed it <laughs> the oil popped out <laughs> and splashed all over me so we don't want to make our lip gloss thick as well okay I know it's 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 gonna be a really bit of a, of a challenge but you're gonna get there you're gonna get that right consistent for your brand another con that i have for you is forgetting to put or forgetting forgetting to add your stopper when you're using a one tube yes okay not putting your stopper when you're using a one tube is a disaster before i started assembling my ingredients which i talk about in my lip gloss pros i think in the part two before I start doing that, I can't. I don't want to remember those days. I literally feel like twenty tubes or more, and I did not 
remember to hard stop to it. You can imagine bringing it hard and trying to hard. It's a mess. It's it's a big big mess. That day was not really really fun. So it's a very big con for you to not have your stopper to your one. So far, I have made mention of five to six cons, like five to six mistakes which I had come through in this journey of making lip gloss. If you had made one, two or more of these mistakes, I want you to go down to the comment section below and type yes. If you are also finding this um, video helpful, I want you also to go down to the comment section below and type yes. Another con that I have for you is overfilling year two. You don't want to do that. Most especially when you're using a one tube. If you're using a squeeze tube, you can feel to the top. You know, we're just adding that. Well, am I going to call it stop? The top, okay. We're just adding the top, then the cover to it, okay. But when in in, in case of a one tube, you don't want to do that. In case your customers or your, your anybody asks you, why is your tube not filled to the top? You let them understand. You have to have, you still have to put a stopper in it and put the one tube which is going to give you pressure if you feel to the top the moment you put the stopper there's not going to be a disaster but once you put in the one tube it's going to explode it's going to pop out immediately and you have a mess to clean up okay so you don't want to overfill your tube to the brain had the last one that i have for you on this video which is do not add your pigment directly to your vasogel <laughs> These mistakes are really, really, really silly. So to some people, it's like, why will you do that? But to some people, like me, when I initially started, I don't see it as a big deal. I just pick up the mica, boom, into the vaso gel. And it's a disaster because it's not going to, the mixing is not going to be smooth. At the end, you're going to have this dot, 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 dot stuff in the, in, in, in the pigment, in the, in the lip gloss. Okay, so you don't want to add your mica directly to your lip gloss. Instead, you want to add it to your, the oil which you had already measured out. Make sure the mica is in the oil and dissolves real good before you transfer it into the vessel. Having avoided all these cons and you have made a very unique and amazing product, then you want to present it here to amaze. You want it to wow your customers. In that regard, I have written a two-page brand vendor list for you to pick up it's going to be in the description down below and it is free so you can at least get the idea of what your branding is going to cost you if you're not ready ready and step up the game of this business because you want to appear unique you want to appear professional you want to appear fancy we are know where there is a con there is definitely a pro if you miss the part one or part two of my lip gloss pro I'm going to leave the link to those video in my description down below so you can check it out and have a full knowledge of what the pro is and what the con is and then it's going to stick into your mind whenever you want to make your own lip gloss things to avoid and the right thing to do so check the video out the description is going to be in the link below now we've come to the end of today's video if you are still with me up until now on today's video i want to say a very big thank you for doing so i want you to like comment and share and if you have not subscribed to my channel i want you to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified whenever i post a new video every wednesday and until i come here once again i want you to stay beautiful stay fancy and be very very careful bye for now